Okay, so I'm back today to talk to you about the Afro Veda products like I said I would. And I know what you were thinking. You were thinking she always says she's coming back and then she doesn't. I'm not even going to worry about it. I know she's not coming back. But I'm back. See, I told you. I'm trying to get back on track. Okay, so first let's talk about the pumpkin and pomegranate herbal shampoo. This is what the bottle looks like again. So basically this shampoo is a clear shampoo and um, it smells really light and clean. Um, just a light clean smell. I don't really know how to describe it other than that. I guess it does have kind of a, a fruity like maybe a pomegranate smell. It doesn't smell like pumpkin to me though. Uh, and it doesn't smell herbal even though it's called herbal shampoo. It's clear and it's thick. What I noticed is when I poured some of it out, it takes a really long time to come out because it's really thick. Like it's thick like a gel to me. And when you squirt it out, it'll squirt out like a gel. Kind of like an aloe gel. And that could be because aloe leaf juice is like the first ingredient. I'm not sure. I'm not a chemist. I don't know. But it's really thick consistency, which I like in shampoo because that makes it easier for me to put it on my fingertips and get it right into my scalp like that. So I really like this shampoo. This would be a clarifying shampoo for me. It, it really cleans your hair well. Like it got my hair like super like squeaky clean, but not like stripped squeaky clean, just kind of moderately squeaky clean I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about though so I would do the squeaky sound but I don't think that's gonna help like it's not like eh, 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 squeaky like er, 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 squeaky you probably still don't know what I mean so anyway um, so I really like the shampoo and I would purchase this shampoo again when I shampooed with it it didn't give me flakes and normally what I notice is when I use shampoos that lather really well and this does lather really well I only had to lather with it one time to get everything clean um, when I use shampoos that lather really well they still whether they're sulfate free or not they still strip my scalp and dry out my scalp and create flakes so this shampoo didn't do that so I really do like this shampoo and I would purchase it um, the next thing I want to talk about is the coconut moisture milk conditioner and this is what that bottle looks like so this conditioner is it smells kind of herbally just a little bit herbally but you can also smell coconut um, I don't like herbally smells and mostly like if if I'm going to put something on my hair, I want it to smell like, I don't know, vanilla or I even like lemon or fruity smells, but I, I don't like herbally smells. Um, so when I put it on, I did notice the smell right away. But um, what I also noticed right away was when I put it on, I felt whatever the shampoo had washed away, I felt like this put it back in there. So I felt like my hair was covered in, in oils. And when I was finger detangling, and I did finger detangle, sometimes I'll finger detangle because I feel like there's tangles in there that with my fingers, I can figure out if I can just untangle it whereas if I use a comb I might tear through it but with my fingers I can kind of pick it apart and be a little more gentle I don't notice that I lose less hair when I'm finger detangling I lose the same amount of hair but I just feel like maybe in my mind I'm being more gentle on my hair maybe not it may be it may be worse but it's easier for me to separate sections and detangle with my hands and then I can still go in with a comb and detangle but what I noticed in finger detangling is 
as soon as I put this on, I had tangles because I had shampooed my hair and kind of tussled it around and tangled it up a little more. Um, I do shampoo in sections and even though I shampoo in sections, it still, my hair still gets tangled. Even when I try to shampoo with, with twists or braids, it's just, it doesn't work for me. I feel like my hair needs to be down when I'm shampooing. I know that that does work for a lot of people, but I feel like my hair needs to be down. So it was tangled up, but what I noticed is as I was going through, the tangles were just falling out. And it happened like almost immediately, which freaked me out because I did not expect it to detangle so quickly and so easily. I didn't expect that to happen. Always after I shampoo with any kind of shampoo and my hair is tangled and, and kind of knotted and matted up like that, it takes me forever to detangle. It took me like maybe 10 minutes on one side, 10 minutes on the other side, maybe 15 on the other side because I, um, I did... Um, the finger detangling took me longer so that was like 15 minutes and then with the comb it was like 10 minutes so that's record time for me because sometimes it'll take me like 45 minutes to an hour to detangle if I'm using something that I have to wait for it to sit before it starts to release the tangles this is an awesome conditioner and I would absolutely purchase this again and the reason that I'm so excited about purchasing purchasing them again is because they have natural ingredients in them and to me for something to work like something that's not really as natural as these products are but to be natural that's that's awesome to me so I would repurchase this conditioner this is an awesome conditioner and even though it smelled herbally when I was detangling and when I first had it on after I rinsed it out the herbal smell was gone uh, after I rinsed it out, I noticed the coconut smell. So it didn't stick with me, which is a good thing. So I really like that conditioner a lot. Okay, so the last thing that I used was the Totally Twisted Ginger Almond Butter. And that's what it looks like. Now this was, it's, it's just, it's a butter, just like it says. This is what it looks like. It's a thick butter, as you can see. It won't fall out, it's really thick. It doesn't really move. Um, this, I think, just from the name, from the name being totally twisted, I feel like it's meant for if you're doing braids or twists, or that's what I use thick butters for. So, um, basically what I did after I shampooed and conditioned is I braided my hair up and let it dry and then a couple of days later like two days later I went back and I used this and then I did really big twists on my hair so I let it stay twisted for maybe a couple of days and I just wore it pinned up and then when I took it down it was like big wavy twists but it didn't really stay because it was raining so my hair got wet and started to curl up but anyway um it really does moisturize well it's really thick it it really is thick and this is the hair this is the same hair that I use these products on so it's it's time for me to shampoo and condition again but my hair still soft it's still moisturized basically what this is it's like a week of me twisting my hair up and sleeping with it twisted and then taking it down and leaving it like this. So it's basically just stretched hair. Um, it is time for me to put some more something on it to moisturize it, but I don't feel like there's a point in me doing that because it's time for me to shampoo it and condition it and all that again. So there's no point in me doing that. But I really like this butter. I don't know if I would purchase it because I have a lot of butters that I already like and um, this works really well. It works just as well as the butters that I already like. What I do really love about it is I really love how it smells. It smells, I guess it kind of smells like there's almonds. I don't know if it smells like ginger or not, but um, it smells really good. So. 
I would, if I did purchase it, it would be because it works really well and I like how it smells, but it's a really good butter. So I recommend, I recommend actually all the products. If you're looking for something, especially if you're into um, an Ayurvedic lifestyle, and I cannot go on and on about an Ayurvedic lifestyle because I don't know hardly anything about it, but if you go to the Afroveda webs website, there's a lot of information on, on Ayurvedic lifestyle on there. But if that's something that you're interested in or if you're interested in, in products that are more natural, then I would totally recommend you trying these. They're also cruelty free. They're not tested on animals. So I would, I would encourage you to try these if you're interested in something more natural or Ayurvedic lifestyle or cruelty free anything like that I'd encourage you to try these but I really like them and I will be purchasing the conditioner I still have a lot of shampoo already but for sure I will purchase the conditioner um, I really like the conditioner so if you have any questions or comments then you can absolutely leave them below I'll put as much information as I can in the information box and I really appreciate you watching and commenting and subscribing and hanging in there and I will see you for my next review.